In this evening's Health Watch, with the spike in coronavirus cases and then the flu season starting, experts say we are heading into a difficult fall and winter season. Local 5's Connie Fellman shows us what we should stock in the medicine cabinet now. The COVID shutdown left many Americans scrambling to get their much needed medications, medical devices, and equipment. So, what should you stock up on during this crisis? Here are some ideas that may not have occurred to you. Your medicine cabinet might be full, but is it full of the right stuff? Experts say there are some meds and devices that you should have, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. The first, a thermometer. It's the tried and true way to check for a fever, which is a common symptom of COVID-19. Make sure you have extra batteries for it and have ibuprofen or acetaminophen on hand to help reduce fever and relieve pain. Also, you may want to purchase a pulse oximeter, which measures oxygen levels in your blood. That monitoring oxygen is important in the high-risk populations and in anybody who we know has COVID. It may detect early signs of pneumonia, which is particularly important in COVID cases. If we could detect the pneumonia earlier, then many, many more patients can avoid ventilators. COVID can also give you a sore throat, so keep lozenges in your cabinet. The virus also causes nausea and diarrhea in some, but experts don't recommend taking any medicines for these symptoms. But an electrolyte replenisher, like Pedialyte, might help reduce the risk of dehydration. And it's a good idea to keep a first aid kit around in case of minor injuries. Helping you stock your medicine cabinet during COVID. Experts say you should also have at least a 30-day supply of prescription medications if you take any. And you can buy a pulse oximeter for $30 to $60 at most pharmacies or via online retailers. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.